Hello YouTube, this is Nir from Making360 and today I want to show you uh, two techniques of how to uh, mask out the bottom of uh, your moving 360 footage. You will see over here this is moving, how great. But also uh, you see in this shot we have patterns on the floor. We have um, the sidewalk, we have sh shadows, all of these things. So this is one technique that we're going to work on and I want to show you also like what we do when we have a more simple shot when you see over here it's just the same pattern. Important to say that today we are working with the footage from Hashtag Murder which is the prototype that I'm leading with my amazing team in Oculus Launchpad. So uh, please cross fingers that uh, we will get the grant and you guys can enjoy uh, Choose Your Own Adventure Murder Mystery um, that we're very excited about. So let's get to the work. So uh, I want to start with uh, one thing to say. Um, first of all, you have a plugin called Mocha VR. Um, you don't need me to see this tutorial for, but it's doing a really, really great job. Highly recommended. The minuses about it is that A, it costs money. B, it requires heavy, heavy rendering. So if you don't have the time and if you don't have the graphic cards and the CPU power for that, so tune in for uh, what I'm about to show you right now. So um, I want to actually start with uh, the more complicated one. So over here, um, as you see, you have shadows, we have like things on the floor. So we want to go ahead and go to Windows and NVR Comp, which uh, was at the side and I just deleted it. Cool. Um, we're going to do Add to the Edit. And then over here, we're going to put our dimension. Mine is 5120 because I'm using uh, GoPro Fusion, which is a perfect camera, recommended to everyone. Uh, add to the edit. And then it opens this window. And what I'm doing is I'm looking down. Okay. And I want to get as flat as I can with the most amount of surface. Now, VR has that cool element. The more that I'm, 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 I'm creating in VR, you can play with space and time in a very interesting way. So I want to show you what we're doing right now. Um, so as you see, um, our tripod, uh, moving wheelchair tripod is standing over here. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead of time, and I'm going to basically see where, where is it ending. It's here and here. So I'm going to basically go until that area is exposed. Maybe I need to readjust whatever is happening over here a little bit. I still want to see my subject. I think that is fine. No, let's do it to the other direction. That will be better. Okay, great. Now, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this edit layer and I am on the top one, I'm gonna mask out where my person was before. Don't worry, we're gonna do a better job later on. And now I'm gonna cut this on Command D and I'm gonna go back in time and I'm gonna take this piece from ahead of time and I'm gonna put it above it. Now, important to say that this is not like 100% accurate, but you can see that it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, a few things that we're about to do. So first, we're going over here to the mask, and in feather, we're going to put it to 80. And what else? Now we're going to put the path uh, and we are animating also the position, the rotation, um, and also another effect that might help us is mash. Important to know how to spell. Great. 
Mashkin, uh, later on, uh, if we need it, I hopefully we won't need it in this one, but with this we can like stretch. Actually, we kind of do need it over here. We're like stretching it to a place up. Oh. You click on it to get it working again. Um, I'm stretching it to alignment with the footage below. Again, this is not 100%, but I can promise you that like if you really have a lot of footage to do render and you know, you're making like a real movie over here, it will be very hard to work with the mocha and the time of rendering. You'll get like over budget really quick with your days of post. So I think this is a really great solution. You can also add uh, levels and curves if you feel like your colors are changing, which might be possible, might be a little bluish over here. Again, everything is changing with the position of the light. But let's see, yeah, I would not touch the curve, but you guys know that you have it. I would also, so now I wanna see where my person is. So I'm gonna change the um, the mode over here to anything light. So like lighten, for example, I kind of don't see it well. So maybe screen. Okay, now I can now I can see, I can see what's up. And then let's fix it up. Because of course, that we better like take the least amount of space, but also leave yourself some space around because um, we have feathers on 80, which is a lot. So, uh, cause we wanted to blend in. So we won't see that sharp edge. Okay. Now, and I have this over here a little bit. Okay. Now we're changing the mode back to normal. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. Of course. Yes, I know we can do better, but I'm just showing you guys the technique up no that's okay yeah of course you can get angle with it but Brr. okay i won't get angle with it for this tutorial but um you guys got the idea Everything is uh, keyframes are on and then we're going to do what we love doing, which is going frame by frame. Um, uh, command shift and errors if you are on Mac or page up or down if you are on uh, Windows. And then we're basically, so now you see that it's getting out of alignment really. Oops. What did I do? Again. So what happens right now is that the top is driving faster than the bottom. This is why we are animating it. Also, yes, I know that it's a delicate like process a little bit of finding because basically what happens is that the bottom is moving slower or haven't started moving yet. Yeah, it starts moving over here. So yeah, basically, you start aligning whatever is happening over here, and going frame by frame. But believe me, this frame by frame will take you way less time if you were to render it with Mocha VR. So this is really great. I keep on going forward. And aligning it as I go. Now, okay. Cool. I won't do the whole thing, but you guys got the idea. Um, yeah, that's great. Now, but it's also kind of complicated, but this is something that I, I did because I want to achieve all the shadows over here. I want it to look somewhat natural. I think VR is still 
somewhat forgiving because uh, this technology is is still evolving but this is a really great way to do things now if you guys have um just a surface that is just solid like this one over here um so throughout the whole movement it's actually the same texture you see it's the same kind of like concrete thing so what we did over here and i'm going to edit this is already and um with your stamp tool uh you press that and then you double click and then you basically take it i'm just gonna show you that was what it was before and then i'm gonna basically mask around and keep on going important to know that like this is also required frame by frame because you just like don't know what happens in the front because if i'm taking it in the front and then i'll see the lines over here so it is somewhat of a going frame by frame uh technique but it's also really really good that seems very natural also a very important to say is that when you are ready and you finished your frame by frame work you go back to your vr comp editor and you do open uh render output the reason why we're doing that and we're not moving over here with the tags is because later on it will crash it will create problems so like behave and do it properly i didn't and i paid for it um so that's it these are two very useful techniques for uh masking out the bottom in a moving shot in vr stay tuned for uh the oculus launchpad project and stay tuned for anything else that making 360 is doing because we're awesome Yes. Bye.